I'm all the megabytes. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. The megabytes actually. Well, we have a match. It's, it's literally Ken versus Dalton right now. <laughs> all right. Well, here we go. Enzo the Hook. No, those names need to be updated. I lied to all of you. Okay, God like the match. Uh, zero go definitely. Uh, that was uh, <laughs> a hell of a mix. All right. Okay. Head to the blender. Throws out the fireball. Oh my God! I thought that maybe they had misspaced it, but it actually turned into this really nice spacing trap. Zero go gets the anti-air DP off of the teleport. Now and having enter the blender locked down in the corner. No, empty jump only works if they don't wake up. Mash throw. And stunned! Uh, wow. Uh, he's gonna wind up for that too. Like, what? Okay. Let him wind Man, up for the block. Corner. That was, yeah, that was an interesting exchange. I'm like, hey, like, I thought he was gonna at least just hold back, but, you know. Uh, take it out, we can get it. Enter the blender, though. It's driven to the corner, but quick escape, and yes, keying into that zero Goki understands that, hey, off the teleport. An immediate action like this, he's gonna snuff that out in the school. Yeah, I like that Zero Goku seems super ready to represent uh, uppercuts in a lot of these spots where Enter the Blender is trying to get away with like floats or teleports or weird spots. But now it looks like Enter the Blender is actually trying to specifically bait that response out of them. Now having the life lead, slowing the game down a little bit. The only problem is they spent a lot of their drive gauge on like OD fireballs in order to, you know, keep the lockdown on the screen. Yep. He hits the blenders, literally just kind of keeping him at bay right here. He wants to make sure he's out Oh there. my god! Never mind. As I Yo, you're dead. Oh my god, Zero Goki, you should have just spit the bar! Please, hey. spit it there! I was about to you say, got so lucky, my son. This is exactly what you were talking about a couple of matches ago when you was like, hey, if you have the resources to, to get the kill, you need to go ahead and use them, and it almost cost Zero Goku right there, but uh, a lot of the spaghetti by both these players right here and into the blender. Uh, letting off the level two already. Does he block it? Wow. Doesn't get that the level Harry two, but gets the punish counter instead. Into All right. nothing. My man's brake lines were broken. Now right. as burnout. Okay, that fireball trade works out decently for Zero Goku. They get some frame advantage. They're able to move forward, press themselves out of the corner, overhead reset off of the uh, Jinrai kicks. I'm sorry, the the Dragon Lash uh, mix up. No, Antti is, there's been a couple of these, uh, these headbutt drills that are landing very high and from very far away. And Zero Goki has not represented a threat against them just yet. That's gonna work, because that's the third hit! Yeah. Unskilled level 3 damage on CA, you should be dead, yeah? Oh, absolutely. First that game goes to Zero yeah. Goki. Yeah, Zero Goki, like, uh, well, excuse me, Ender the Blender was literally, like, doing those, like, overhead drills and literally teleporting after them for, like, mix-up potential, but Zero Goki, just literally that slow wind-up on the drive was enough time for them, um, on the drive impact was enough time for them to pop that level three, and now here we are. Zero Goki, one game up, and Enter the Blender, having some Ken difficulties, as we all do, and just not establishing a lead big enough for him to just, you know, set up with Dawson. Yeah, please just meet this man. Okay, Enter the Blender finds a punish counter instead. I think they went a little bit too fancy with that mix-up option. I feel like that's a spot where you just go for a meaty, you burn them out, and then you use the plus frames off of burnout. I think they played for a hit a little bit too much. That late teleport there does work to set up the cross-up, earns them a round despite my criticisms. Sometimes I can be told to uh, screw myself, and that was one of those situations. Deep jump in connects to zero go game. A little bit of meter, got to get him off me. And this is the range that Dawson wants to play at. And for any of the blender, it's been so, so difficult. With Ken literally getting the buttons and not finishing the combo right there. And Zero Goki found himself thrown into the corner. The drills, the safe spacing. And hey, I saw the DI from a mile away. Now let me give you some of that back. Okay, that's a meaty setup. That's a meaty setup. Okay. And like, okay. you actually, in that spot, you actually have to respect them. Um, and enter the blender was not willing to respect it. Zero Goki on a set point, sitting fully loaded, trying to slowly walk their way in. Wanted to DR underneath the fireball. They're not quite going to get it, but now the sweep connects. Reversal level two on wake up from enter the blender. That's actually a big swing in their benefit here. 
right and there's exactly where into the blender into the blender as like literally just one of them the entire time it's like hey i have a big life lead and i got you in disadvantage so i'm just gonna keep you here but now one one between these guys in the ladder by the way and now we're going into the final game of the set zero goki zero goki has done a really really good job of establishing that offense and running up and literally just uh back piercing getting the, the target combo started and literally the classic can run up after the drive rush can be pierced wow it wastes all that meter on the drive rush from nobody home i can tell for Right, slowly inching forward here is Zero Goki. They have the life lead. The thing you need to be mindful of now is you don't want Ender the Blender to be able to get a teleport and get the side switch. But I think Zero Goki's done a very good job of being mindful of that thus far. All right, lockdown in the corner. Nice punish counter on the parry pump that had come out. And yeah, finish your plate. Thank you. Okay. See that the last time he, he like basically let that uh let that uh that OTG just happened, like, you know, it was a meaty setup. I had no idea what was happening. I was like, yo, is he really just gonna let that go? Because I'm so used to seeing that picked up and doing it that time and gonna be leading into one round away. we get the dub right here into the blenders and we're real, real stout about those uh, head drill cancels in the teleport and trying to keep him at, at distance here and just building away at a life All right, pressing the issue here. We're just shy of level three here is Zero Goki. All right, that throw gets them uh, just shy of even life. Oh, nice pickup. I think you would have been able to, you didn't hit a button on jump in, right? Yeah, we're gonna get a punish. No, didn't believe in the timing, wasn't prepared for it. That could be a weird super if you're not like ready for how you have to answer that. And I know that because I don't know when to hit a button on it either, because I haven't played enough Dawson to know when I should stop blocking. Tries to run underneath the air fireball once again, loses out for it. And we are on set point for both players now off of a few critical matchup knowledge gaps here out of Zero Goki. Yeah, but Zero Goki is literally just holding W on the keyboard, man. It's like, hey, bro, you might want to just kind of just slow this down. Literally just getting hit by standing medium three times in a row before you decide to do something in the fireball. There is so much happening on the screen right now. And Zero Goki, unfortunately, is not able to muster it. And now less than 5% left. Going to be a perfect KO off this? No. Okay. Hey, this is how it starts right here. It is, we're gonna press the issue. No, I don't like that Zero Goki backed off. No, I lied. That was actually almost OD. All right, one more touch could put them in burnout, depending. Zero, enter the blender is so scared, but reversal level two is gonna connect. No, the level three is gonna win instead. And the CA is should be able to win it for Zero Goki. I'm God. sad. Damn, what a mistake out of Enter the Blender. You go for the reversal in what should have been the exact right time, but Zero Goki had just took his foot off the gas. And he was literally, con he confirmed that from the furthest possible we're, range. We're going to watch this in full screen. Oh, we're not, we're not going to put it back on the little screen. Look at this right here. So we see that, uh, uh, like, and like I said, from the furthest possible range, like, good Lord almighty. Not, like... I'm just so surprised, like, that level two came out the way it did, like... Yeah, it's it's intriguing, actually. It looks like what happened was the level two should have beat... Because the overhead follow-up of Dragon Lash came out. So, Zero Goki did commit to an option. But I don't know if it was the spacing or if it was because they charged the level two for a little bit. I, like, I don't know specifically what happened there, but the Dragon Lash recovered in time to mash out the level three. Yeah, I literally, I'm watching the playback and literally like, he came in for that overhead. He hit that 